today we will discuss the seven types of interview questions and seven answering strategies first of all types of interview questions there are seven types of interview questions open questions closed questions probing questions reflective questions loaded questions and hypothetical questions and last ones are leading questions first one is open questions an open question ask the candidate to talk about something its main purpose is to encourage the candidates to talk broadly about a topic or subject for examples tell us something about yourself number 2 talk about your interest and activities number 3 describe the most difficult situation that you recently faced number 4 In your past job experience tell me about a time when you stuck to organization policy to solve a problem when it might have been easier or more immediately effective not to Number 5 give me an example of a time when communicating with a fellow worker was difficult how you handle it Number 6 can you give me an example of when you came up with a clear way of motivating someone Number 7 Give me an example of a time when you got really motivated at work. Number 8. What have been major obstacles which you have had to overcome on your most recent or current job? How did you deal with them? Number 9. What types of things have made you angry? How did you react to those situations? Number 10. You have heard the expression being able to roll with the punches describe a time when you had to do that so that means you must be aware of the expressions as well number 11 if you could be a supervisor for a day at your position what changes would you make for the organization or the institute number 12 describe for me a time when you made a mistake that illustrates your need for improvement in a certain area Number 13 tell me about a time when you made a quick decision that you were proud of so all of these questions are open questions which you have to answer openly Number 2 closed questions Closed questions limit the scope of the response by asking the candidate to provide specific information or facts If you can answer a question with a yes or no response then you are answering a closed ended type of question for example do you know dsm where did you receive your first professional training what was your major subject in university when did you complete your graduation dsm stands for is that your final answer अगर आपने कोई आंसर दिया है तो आपसे श्योरिटी ली जाती है कि वाक क्या वाकई आर यू श्योर इज दैट योर फाइनल आंसर सो ऑल दीज टाइप्स ऑफ क्वेश्चंस आर क्लोज्ड क्वेश्चंस व्हिच यू कैन कैन डिस्क्राइब यू हैव टू आंसर इन वन और टू वर्ड नंबर थ्री प्रोबिंग क्वेश्चंस द मेन पर्पज ऑफ अ प्रोबिंग क्वेश्चन इज टू प्रोब मोर डीपली और आस्क फॉर एन एक्सप्लेनेशन और क्लैरिफिकेशन ऑफ अ स्टेटमेंट जस्ट मेड Probing questions encourage the candidate to talk in greater depth about a topic or subject. For example, tell me more about that. What led you to compare this to what others have done? Why did you do that? How did others see it? Is that typical for you? Where is the difference between assessment and analysis so what is the difference you must be aware of that and last one is what is the difference between psychology clinical psychology and applied psychology so these kind of questions are probing questions which you have to describe in depth number 4 reflective questions reflect reflective questions are asked to confirm the statements given by the candidates the purpose is to check that the interviewers understands what the candidate has said for example that means you want the public sector organizations and institutes to be totally privatized 
आपने कोई स्टेटमेंट दी है कोई आंसर दिया है जिसको वो फर्दर कंफर्म करने के लिए एक रिफ्लेक्टिव क्वेश्चन कर रहे हैं कि आप किस बात का मतलब ये है सो यू हैव टू क्लैरिफाई दैट और यू हैव टू कंफर्म दैट नंबर टू डज दैट मीन दैट यू डोंट फेवर अ सिंगल नेशन करिकुलम इन द वर्ल्ड और पाकिस्तान ना नंबर फाइव लोडेड क्वेश्चन लोडेड क्वेश्चन असेस द कैंडिडेट्स रिस्पॉन्स टू अ सेंसिटिव इश्यू द मेन पर्पज ऑफ लोडेड क्वेश्चन इज टू जज द कैंडिडेट्स एबिलिटी टू हैंडल डिफिकल्ट एंड सेंसिटिव सिचुएशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू आर टू शॉर्ट डोंट यू थिंक दिस इज गोइंग टू बी अ हैंडी कैप फॉर यू नंबर टू यूर जी पी ए इज इन द फर्स्ट सेमेस्टर ऑफ योर ग्रेजुएशन इज टू लो हाउ डू यू जस्टिफाई दैट सो दीज आर द लोडेड क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री योर वॉइस इज नॉट ऑडिबल टू मी How your students or colleagues will listen you? Again, a loaded question. Next, number six, hypothetical questions. A hypothetical question may involve a question hypothetical situation. It may be asked to test the possible reactions of the candidate to a certain situation. And mostly, these kind of questions are asked from the candidates. For example, what would you do if you face a group? of angry employees who want to discourage your efforts which you did for the betterment of organizations number 2 one of your staff has been involved in activities detrimental to you your workplace he has been doing this for money that he needs for the treatment of his ailing mother what would you do number 3 your students are not satisfied with the teaching method which you used and they drop their interest in the subject as a result so what strategy you will use now to keep them satisfied number 7 leading questions a leading question is asked to obtain a desired response it leads a candidate to a particular answer aapne jo bhi answer diya hai usme se ek aur question liya jayega aur aapko ek particular answer ki taraf leke jaya jayega so that is the leading question for example don't you think that our economy needs more privatization number 2 don't you agree that mphil in applied psychology is better than ms in clinical psychology after knowing the seven types of questions let me give you some exercise and you have to identify which type of question is this First one don't you think that british economy is too closed so that is open type of question number 2 do you have any teaching experience it's a loaded question number 3 tell us something about the effect of globalization on pakistan or america that is hypothetical question number 4 why did you leave your first job it's again a loaded question number 5 when did you work for article publication now you have to identify the type of question number 6 tell us something about your achievements again you have to identify the type of question number 7 do your poor grades reflect your casual attitude to studies you will identify the question type number 8 do you think that religion and politics should not be mixed number 9 do you support the idea of uniform civil code for asians so all of these questions are for you you have to find out the question type and let me tell that what type of question is that with the question number in the comments box so to give the answer of all type of questions some answering strategies must be known for all of you and seven factors that can improve the quality of answers during a job interview are number 1 attentiveness you must be attentive and you have to listen the question attentively number 2 accuracy your answers must be accurate number 3 brevity number 4 focus number 5 clarity your answer must be clear as well number 6 your attitude must be positive with the smiley face if you are discussing any sensitive issue then don't be smile and last one is first think logically and then answer 
Now next we will discuss the smart versus over smart answers with examples and exercise questions as well. So keep watching, keep learning and follow your curiosity. See you in the next one. And you can also read my articles on my website. The link is given below easternpsychologist.com.